On this mass transit commute, we're going to talk about the error queue. The error queue is used by mass transit when a consumer or saga throws an exception that isn't handled by a retry policy or the retry policy is exhausted or just, you know, the, the message can't be processed. Poison message is a common word for this. Um, anyway, I put together a very simple consumer. All the consumer does is it gets a submit order message. It checks if it's valid, which is just a simple property on the message, and then throws an exception if the order is not valid. If it is valid, it goes ahead and logs that the order is valid and completes. So for this test, I've made it so that when the service starts up, it's going to wait till the bus gets healthy, and then it's going to publish a submit order with valid equals false. And we're going to use the RabbitMQ Management Console to take a look at this. So I run the app, and we can see that it starts up, connects to RabbitMQ. I get an immediate error because I published that message, and I can see that that error happened. Now when I see this in the log, I can also go out to the RabbitMQ console, and I can see the submit order error queue has been created for me, and there's one message waiting in it. When I click on that queue, I can scroll down, and I can actually pull that message out of the queue and look at it. So when I say get message, I can see a number of details here. The message ID, the headers, the consumer type that tried to consume it, the exception type that was thrown. In this case, we can see that the message was actually the order was not valid, which is from the exception that I threw. The message type, which is error queue submit order, my namespace. The full stack trace, a timestamp of when the fault occurred, and the various host details of where it happened. I also get to look at the full payload. And this is where you kind of get a look into the JSON serialization of a message. You can see all the message headers there, the message type, which is URN message, error queue, submit order, and then that message order ID. Now valid isn't included because it's a default value, and by default, Mass Transit doesn't include default values in the output JSON. So there's a couple ways I could do this. Let's say that the system was just, you know, having a bad day and I wanted to go ahead and reprocess the message. I can actually just put the name of the queue in here for submit order to send it to that other queue. And I can just use shovel, the shovel plugin for RabbitMQ to move those back. So when I hit this, it'll just move them back and it'll just go. So I hit that, it actually happens really quick. If we go back to the code, we can see that it tried to process it again and got that same error that the order was not valid. So it's able to really quickly move those messages back in, but that's a great first step if you just wanna reprocess the messages. Now let's do something a little more complex. Let's take a look at the error, and I wanna get that message out again, but this time I wanna tweak it. I wanna put the valid value in. So I'm gonna snag this payload, and I'm going to go back over to the proper queue, and I'm gonna actually use RabbitMQ's Management Console to post this back into the broker. So I'm gonna set the content type, which is application, Ben, mass transit, plus JSON. I'm gonna drop the payload in here, but then I'm gonna go ahead and modify the JSON and I'm going to add, and of course I'm going to properly format it, and I'm gonna add true to set the order as being valid. And then I'm gonna throw that message out to the queue. Now it's already processed. If I go in here, I can see that I just processed that order is valid message and it was done and submitted. And if I go back and look, it's all there. The UIDs match up and everything. So that's just kind of a quick look at how you can process the error queue and how the error queue works in mass transit. Um, that's it. Thanks.